tell me, uh, tell me a, bit, a little bit about your ride, Brian. Um, it's a Nissan Altima 2013. It's a V6 engine, 3.5. Uh, I always thought about a bigger engine. The only problem about it is uh, mileage and gas. So uh, that is pretty much what we are trying to, to figure out today to see if it is as fuel efficient as they say it is or not. So let's hope for it. Horsepower pull. What we found here, we got roughly 220 horsepower, yeah. about 250 peak torque. You're not going to see a big horsepower production here because of the transmission. This would be a CBT and limits the amount of force you can put on. Okay. But the car is where it should be. This car is rated roughly at 250 horsepower, 250 foot pound of torque. We see the torque number. We know the horsepower is artificially low because of the CVT trends. So, next thing we're gonna do, quarter mile pull. Any guesses? 16 seconds? 17 seconds? All right, we'll see how it goes. All right. terms of time was a 14.9 second quarter mile. So for a V6 engine, is that better than expected? Mm, it's about average. So listen, we got your uh, car in the dyno. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your ride here? Well, it's a 2013 Wrangler. It's not the Rubicon, it's just the Sport. I picked it up about a year ago and I chopped all the parts off of it. Uh, I got a lot of exhaust on it, otherwise it's stock. And they did a great thing for Wranglers. They decided we're going to put the V6 from the Challenger and Charger inside it. And that's why it's on the dyno right now. So you got the V6 in there? Yeah. Now, what type of modification you said on the exhaust? What type of work did you do on the exhaust system? It's no longer muffled. <laughs> oh, no, enough said there. Yeah. All right, so what are you expecting out of your uh, Wrangler here in terms of uh, horsepower? Well, at the crank, she'll put out about 300 horsepower, 270 foot pounds of torque. So I'm guessing a little over 245 horsepower and a little bit over 230 on the torque at the wheels. 245 on the horse and two, 230 torque? Yep. Are you willing to lay the car on the line for that, to bet the car on those two? Metrics? No, that's that's my baby. <laughs> that's your baby. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna jump in there. You're gonna right crank that thing up. Let's put it on the dyno and let's go. All right. What did you think about that run? I thought it was great for a Jeep with uh, that size wheels on it and things of that nature. Very impressive. So you didn't even top out. You buried the, the odometer is what you told me. I buried the speedometer. It only goes up to 100 miles an hour. Uh, I probably was around somewhere like 110, 115. And if I had actually gotten to 6,400 RPM, I only got to 4,500. I would have seen a lot better horsepower numbers, but with this engine, you'll see on the dyno, the torque is a straight line across. So the torque wouldn't have gone up or down anywhere. It's pretty much straight across. Pretty pleased with your ride or what? Absolutely, because whenever I do go slightly over the speed limit, that's about where I'm sitting at, and now I know exactly what I'm running at 4,500 RPM. Mr. Ballard, what was your thoughts on the on the dyno ride? Well, I agree. We got to upgrade, of course, on the exhaust. You know, we're just getting things going again, but I'm impressed with it. It handled well. It was safe. That's the main thing. That's what we look for here. Like, 
That is the main thing. So I think you won a few bets out there, Rui. These guys had you clocked 150 tops on the horsepower. So I think you're a bit of a Lincoln Tech Winsu Mawa hero right about, right about now. Yeah, for a Jeep, she definitely goes. I've taken her to the drag strip and gotten some great times with her. People never expect it. And I'm just going to keep making her a little bit quicker and a little bit lighter, and we'll see where she gets to eventually. That's great. So that's a wrap. Thanks for Put it on the dyno. See what happens.